Hi viewers, this video is in response to two questions from our viewers. One of the questions by a viewer named Samir was, what are the different communication frequencies used by satellite transponders and their uses? And the other question by a viewer named Durga was, explanation and application of KU and KA band frequencies. For the sake of completeness, I am making this video about all frequency bands in microwave spectrum, that is between 0.3 and 300 GHz frequency, and their applications. Since I thought it would be too long for one video, I am making it in multiple parts that will cover topics such as fundamental of microwave frequency spectrum, space applications like how India's Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan and NASA's Apollo and International Space Station communicate with Earth, 5G mobile communication and understanding how mobile frequencies are selected, satellite-based internet like Google Loon, Bharatnet and projects by SpaceX and Amazon, day-to-day -day applications like TV, navigation and positioning system, and weather monitoring. And finally, defense and advanced applications like heat ray, airport security system and autonomous cars and more. Without any further delay, let's get started. Microwave spectrum is part of electromagnetic spectrum and it has frequency range from 300 MHz to 300 GHz. According to the definition by the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, Commonly known as IEEE, the frequency band in this range are named as follows in the increasing order of frequency. Bear with me as this list is pretty long. As we can see here, the frequency range of ultra high frequency or UHF is from 0.3 to 1 GHz, L band from 1 to 2 GHz, S band from 2 to 4 GHz, C band from 4 to 8 GHz, X band from 8 to 12 GHz. KU band from 12 to 18 GHz, K band from 18 to 26.5 GHz, KA band from 26.5 to 40 GHz, V band from 40 to 75 GHz, W band from 75 to 110 GHz, and finally G band from 110 to 300 GHz. At this point, I would like to mention that K band is not a very useful frequency for communication as these frequencies can be easily absorbed by water vapor present in atmosphere. So, we won't be talking much about this band. And before we go further, let me remind you a key point from our high school physics. The higher the frequency of a signal, the more the data it can communicate. On other hand, higher frequency signal can travel only for a smaller distance before getting lost in surroundings or attenuated. So, if someone wants to transmit a signal for a longer distance, Say, to communicate with a satellite around Mars, lower frequencies like L or S band may be preferred. On the other hand, if someone wants to transmit large volume of data, for example, a high-speed wireless broadband network in an office, higher frequencies like V band may be used. Also, the same principle is behind selecting red color for stop signal and danger lights. Do check out our short video explaining this topic link of which you can find in the description below. With this understanding, let us look at different applications of microwave frequency spectrum. Since the applications are spread over multiple videos, the list here provides which microwave frequency band is referred in which video. This is for people who are interested in specific frequency bands. With this, we come to the end of introduction part. In the next part, we are going to see about space applications.